Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, thanks to all the feedback, because it's kind of interesting to see the feedback. I took the info from a website that has tech uh, info and said that apparently it installed, but now I'm getting a lot of comments about uh, the install of 24H2 on an unsupported machine using Rufus to bypass TPM and the minimum requirements. And what I'm getting is a lot of you have come back to me with comments saying, uh-uh, it -uh, doesn't work anymore. And the main message that everybody is getting is that, oh, you don't have TPM 2.0, uh, can't install. So does that mean 24H2 is the, the first version that is incompatible with unsupported machines? Now, this is interesting, and if you think about it, if you're on 23H2, you're getting the last version that works until October of 2025, same time as Windows 10 end of support. Um, there's some kind of logic that I could see from Microsoft, meaning that, oh, you're terminating all of that, so the loophole for Windows 11, Windows, Windows 10, get a new PC. So um, this is interesting. So what I'm going to do, I will actually create a bootable thumb drive and we'll try it on my main uh, unsupported laptop that is right now on 23H2 and see what it tells me uh, tomorrow. And I'll come back to you with a video on uh, what I find. But this is interesting. This would mean that without a TPM chip, you now cannot install Windows 11. Um, does it have anything to do with the BitLocker um, feature that could be turned on on a clean install? Uh, not sure. This is interesting. And for the clean install with BitLocker on, uh, I'm getting conflicting reports. I'll need more reports from you guys of what happens if you do a clean install of 24H2. So I got about half the people saying they've clean installed 24H2. BitLocker is on by default on all drives. And I've got about half that said clean install 24H2, and I don't have BitLocker. Now, um, I'd like to see what are the differences in the machines that have or do not have the BitLocker encryption in, uh, going on. But this is very interesting right now. Um, so tomorrow I'll have a definite personal test of it on my unsupported machine. And um, definitely kind of interesting here. Um, would Microsoft have blocked unsupported machines right now to 24H2? Which is totally possible. Microsoft did say that at any time the unsupported loophole could be gone. So I'll come back to you with my findings on that. And I want to thank everybody for commenting. Uh, helps, you know, drive the channel into a certain way. And correct me when I'm wrong on certain things. So uh, thanks for all of that, you guys. And I wanted to have more. If more of you are installing unsupported 24H2, let me know. Are you getting a no TPM 2.0 found error and it doesn't continue? That definitely would be interesting to know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.